I guess what we're doing today is we're wearing old clothes like this, okay? And we are going to do this. <laughs> Dissect a deer heart. Are you excited? Okay. So to start with, you can follow along in your lab, but I'm just going to go through the stuff so that this video isn't like 30 minutes long. Okay, I'm just wearing gloves because I have a massive cut on my, I, cut, I made a huge gash when I was taking the scarecrow off my porch. My kids, weirdly enough, took the protective covering over the plug-in and I like blood. I could see the connective tissue underneath. It was pretty great. Okay, so you should probably put goggles on, put your hair in a ponytail, all that jazz. Here is my deer heart. Deer heart. Isn't that great? Um, if you are doing a sheep at home because you're just watching this video or something or a cow, it's similar because they're mammals and they're four-legged. Okay, let's start with, we're going to do the external. Right here, this is the atrium. This is the right atrium. Remember, if you're holding it like this, or if you're holding it, then this would be the right atrium and on the right side. It's like you hold it up like you're the one doing it. And then the left atrium is over here. So atrium, right atrium. So then this is going to be the right ventricle. My husband accidentally cut that when he cut it out of the deer. It's not supposed to be there. Left vent, left atrium is on the top. Left ventricle is on the bottom. So when we cut it open, you'll really get to see. Okay, let's look at all these. Look at it. You can shove your fingers in these. Look at that. Can you see that? What are them? Look at how close they are together. Can you see all those? Look like poses. So, make sure to break it down. Um, just call me Bill. No big deal. Um, yeah, that is my husband's name. We have old people names. Bill and Kathy. I went to a wedding once. I was in the wedding. I was like 20, 20? I don't know. I was young. 21 maybe. And um, I was in the wedding. So I was there when they opened the presents. And <laughs> the paper said Kathy and Bill. And they got her like a rug or something. And she's like, thank you. And I go, I didn't give you that. Oh, this is my aunt. Because we have old people names. Okay. So we are going to start cutting. Well, first, do you want to see the superior vena cava? Right here. See how it leads right into the atrium? It's kind of the same color. Can you see that? I want to hold this closer. But I don't want to get blood on my computer. So I'm going to take my glove off for a second. And I'm going to put a piece of paper down with my keyboard. I'll do that. Now it's super. I should have put my hair in a ponytail, but I forgot. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hit pause. Hey, right, I'm back. Okay, so we are talking about the Superior Vena Cava. And that goes right into the large vein that goes right into the right atrium. See that there? You see that? Superior vein came out right into the right atrium. So it goes right in there. Super cool. And then over here, you have the pulmonary. Shove your finger in there. This is the pulmonary artery because all arteries leave the heart. So the pulmonary artery leaves the right ventricle. When I cut that open, you'll be able to see that better. I just want to show you it on the outside. And see how those are all kind of together there? So this is the pulmonary artery that leaves that one. I just stuck my finger in this one right here. All right. One, this is the aorta right here. And that leaves the, see how big those are? Those are so big. My fingers. The aorta leaves the left ventricle. All right. So we are going to cut. I'm going to use a scissors because that's my favorite thing to do. Pretty sure this just cut some felt yesterday, but it's fine. Okay, can you see what I'm doing? So what you are going to do, if you get to do this in the classroom, is you are going to start on the right side, okay? So you're going to cut into the superior vena cava through the right atrium and then on down the right ventricle, and you're going to look at the valves. Ready? Superior vena cava. Right. See, I'm just cutting. Can you hear that? That's a great sound. Okay, you might get a blood clot in there, and the blood clot, you'll know it's a blood clot if it looks like jam. Don't put it on your toast, because it'll taste really disgusting. All right. Ah, oh, look, oh, yes, we have a blood clot. Okay. Totally, look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Can you see that? This dark stuff here is a blood clot. This stuff, look at that, looks like jelly. Mmm, don't put it on your toast. Or don't even just... Oh, look at this one. Look at this one. This one's ginormous. So you're going to want to take the blood clots out. Oh, it smells so good. Look at... Okay, so take those out. Get those out of the way. This is a big one. Holy Hannah. There's a lot in there. Oh, super fabulous. Okay. I want you to be able to see this really well. Okay, so see that cordae tendine? They look like guitar strings. Ding, 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 ding. You can play them if you want. That helps to keep the valves in place. 
you can see, if you remember, what is the valve that goes in between the right atrium and the right ventricle? Do you remember? It's called the right, it can be the right AV valve or the tricuspid valve because there's three cusps. So if it might ask you to draw the cusps, and then you can see here, the papillary muscle, chordae tendinae. So right here, look at the thickness of this. We'll compare that later, the thickness of the ventricle to the left ventricle. So now we're going to cut the left side. So I'm going to cut into the pulmonary veins or arteries, which ones go into the left atrium. Veins, very good, because veins go toward the heart. So we're going to cutting into the pulmonary veins. You see that? I know this isn't a dissecting scissors, but I'm at my house, and this is the best I can do. It's probably sharper than the ones we have in the classroom anyways. Oh, yes. Look how thick that myocardium is. Look at that. Can you see that? Look at how thick that is. Does anybody remember why this is myocardium? You're like, what are you talking about? This is myocardium. Does anybody remember how thick the, or why the left, this is the right ventricle. This is the left ventricle. Does anybody remember why the left ventricle is so much thicker? Do you see that? That's like three times as thick. Does anybody remember why that's thicker? Here's some more blood clots. Okay. It's thicker because where does the right ventricle pump blood? Do you remember? This right ventricle, where does it pump the blood? Through the pulmonary arteries. It pumps it to the lungs. Where does the left ventricle pump the blood? Through the aorta. It pumps it through the aorta to the whole body. So it has to be so much thicker because it pumps it through the whole body. So you'll open that and then you have the more chordae tendinae. Isn't that beautiful? Those are the guitar strings. Can you see them? And then you have the left AV valve. So then if you go back and you cut through the aorta, if you remember, you'll see the aortic semilunar valve. Can you see that? Look at, see those little half moon things? That's what the aorta, sem aorta semilunar valve looks when you cut it open. It's hard to see if you look down there, but that's that because that the aorta leads to the the ventricle I can get that that one's the most difficult to cut there we go you can see that see that there so that's the aorta semilunar valves here's the pulmonary semilunar valves pulmonary leads to the lungs because pulmonary means lungs so the pulmonary artery carries oxygen poor blood to the lungs to get the oxygen. Pulmonary veins bring the oxygen rich back blood back to the left atrium. This looks like a hot mess now. But um, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. But the main thing, the most, I think the most interesting thing besides to see the chordae tendinae, besides to see the valves, is the thickness. So I'm going to show you again. The thickness of the right ventricle versus the left ventricle. Okay, see this right here? Now pay attention. See how thick that is? Okay, see? It doesn't even make it to the circle. If you're, I'm using this as a measuring device because it's already all full of blood, right? That's the thickness of the right ventricle, which pumps blood to the lungs. Look at the thickness of the left ventricle. Look at that. See that? That's past the circle, this circle right here. So the... Right ventricle went this far, that far. The left ventricle went like that far. The left ventricle is so much thicker, it's crazy. All right, let me know if you have questions. Fill out your dear heart dissection. I hope it was helpful. There's plenty of pictures online of everything labeled that will help you. I hope you had fun. I take my gloves off so I can hit pause. <laughs>